A YouTuber and bodybuilder has died after being tasered by police. Police had arrested Eric Steltzer while he was attacking a Tinder date with a knife. The incident is still being investigated, so we don't know too much at this time, but we will tell you what we know so far. Hello and welcome back to Inform Overload. I'm Charlotte Dobre, and if you need a place to get your news on YouTube, give that subscribe button a good old smash. Stories like the one I'm about to tell you make me terrified to date anybody. That and watching you on Netflix. No, not not, not watching you, but you. The series called You, and it's about a stalker. Don't say I didn't warn you. But enough about Netflix. Let's talk about this horrific Tinder date that left one woman with stab wounds and her date dead from a police taser. Megan Tapley is 24 years old and a veterinary assistant. She met Eric on Tinder and they went on a date on September 27th in Cohasset, Massachusetts. But at some point during the date, Eric began stabbing Megan. The attack took place at Eric's home. Police officers showed up to the scene at around 10 p.m. where they found Eric repeatedly stabbing Megan. Police used stun guns on Steltzer and afterward he became unresponsive responsive while being taken to the hospital. Megan is expected to survive, but if the police hadn't showed up in time, it's likely she would have died from the attack. She will be recovering for a long time, however, and will need plastic surgery. According to reports, her eye is badly hurt, and she will likely need to see an eye specialist. Eric Steltzer was 25 years old. He was a bodybuilder and YouTuber. On his channel, he posts fitness videos. He actually doesn't have a lot of subscribers. He only has about 400 of them, but his videos have racked up thousands of views. In the comments, it seemed he only had less than 100 subscribers before the attack. People have been trolling the comments section of his videos since the incident as well. The investigation is still ongoing and the cause of Eric's death is pending because police are waiting on toxicology testing results. And here's where this gets a little complicated. According to Eric's family, he was suffering from delusions and paranoia. He was receiving care from mental health professionals for the last month. Apparently things really started getting bad on Christmas Day. Believing that Eric was on the verge of a psychotic break, his family called 911. EMT showed up to the scene and said that Eric was lucid enough to know his name and the date. Essentially they said that Eric didn't need help. After the EMT visit, Eric's family hired professionals to bring Eric to a treatment facility. But before they could do that, Eric went on a Tinder date and attacked Megan Tapley. Eric's father Harry did an interview with CBS News where he said that he believes police were too hard on his son. He will be consulting an attorney. While he does feel sorry for the victim, Harry Seltzer said that he has a high priced lawyer and he's not looking for money, he's looking for justice for his son. So Eric was a pretty big guy. He was 6 foot 8 and 300 pounds. The stun gun that was used on Harry was used 4 times. There were 4 police on the scene. Harry believes police could have simply handcuffed his son rather than delivering the taser that possibly killed him. According to Cohasset Police Chief William Quigley, however, officers acted accordingly. He praised the actions of his officers in a statement that said, I'm extremely proud of the job my officers did. They acted heroically and absolutely saved a life. While it's sad that there is a loss of life, they did great work. So if you guys are interested in donating to Megan Tapley's medical expense fund, her friends have set up a GoFundMe page that I will link in the description. On behalf of IO, our hearts go out to Eric's family and Megan Tapley. This was a horrible instance of domestic violence that I believe could have been prevented. Let me know your thoughts on the story down there in the comments, but for now I'm going to do some comment replies. The Red Devil said, Happy New Year Inform Overload. Happy New Year to you, you devil. Spill the tea said, Charlotte, I ate food for breakfast. No you did not. Naughty. Andrew said, why comment if Charlotte will never see it? I don't know, you should just give up. Angelica Martinez said, Charlotte, I am very addicted to watching this channel. Are you? I feel like that's a good addiction. Just Irene said, Charlotte, are you the creator of IO? Also, I love how you have the same last name as the Dobre twins. I am the one who picks the stories and does the writing and the research and we have an editor, but I did not create this channel. Len and Dalit Singh did. I'm also not the one that edits the videos. Tessa does that. Hi Tessa. Just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be headed to New York today, so you won't see me in IO videos until next week. Johnny's going to be covering for me, so uh, be nice. The video's over. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep watching, we put together a playlist that's right over there. And make sure you like, sub, and turn on those notifications so I can see you in the next IO video.